Hey guys, Sunstreaker was it here, and yes, a new game mode has come to the China server. Now this game mode has been in the China server for a couple of weeks now. I thought I'd leave it a couple of weeks to get into it, to get used to it, to understand it, and yeah, it's pretty decent. Now, they have been talking on the live stream about a new game mode that is coming to the global version. They have said it will be better than other alternatives out there. Now they are talking about the China server, it's pretty obvious. But whether or not they're going to use the same arena mode in global is yet to be seen. We're not too sure. Whether it will be in the sort of same aspect and how it works, we're not too sure. But it is in the files, guys. I did a video a couple months back, an update video, and arena mode is in the files. Now, it isn't a game changer as such. I'm going to go through it here and show you the sort of how it works and everything, it's not a massive game changer. It's not gonna totally revitalize the game in my opinion, but it is a really cool feature for both low level guys and high level guys. Uh, before I crack on guys, just wanna say that tonight Nathan Webb will be doing a win, lose or draw uh, feature on the official stream tonight so watch out for that guys it's a lot of fun i tune into pretty much every one of nathan's uh windows or draw games it's really really fun guys go and check it out on the live stream i'll definitely be tuning in anyway tonight definitely without a doubt so uh going on to arena mode so i just want to start off by saying that arena mode has been designed and it to not use any fuel cells but the bad side of it is that your bots don't gain any XP from this. So when you've done all your raiding, when you're in a leaderboard or something like that and you've run out of cells, this is a good thing to jump on because you don't need cells. But it isn't going to give your bots any more XP. It's purely just for rewards. Now the way it sort of works is you start at the bottom and you get a small bit of alloy and a small bit of energy on And as you work up, the rewards get better and better. Now, I'm currently at HQ40 in this, and I'm struggling to get the amount of energy and alloy that I need. Even with a full run of my cells, I can maybe upgrade maybe one or two defences. So this is a brilliant addition, and as you go through there, you can see, you get more and more alloy and energy on. And once you get towards the top, you work through the ranks, and once you get to the top, I can just about get to Cybertron if I use the combiner. And so I'm looking at gaining roughly, quick calculation... About seven thousand alloy and uh, seven million, sorry, alloy and energy on seven million, and that's brilliant with regards to leveling your bots up and leveling your walls and leveling your base up. And then by the end of the week, it's a weekly event. It runs Thursday to Wednesday every week, and they have one day rest in between. And then at the end of the week, you get given crystals, spark, and arena coins. Now I hear a lot of you thinking arena coins. What the hell are arena coins? So, you get an arena shop. So you ought to get rewards every day for logging in, things like that, for battling. And here's the arena shop. Now, the first thing to notice is that the first one there is a 5-star Beast Wars Megatron. And yeah, it's 11,000 coins. But you can see there, I've got 2,500 already over the last 2 weeks, 2-3 two, weeks. So, just by logging in every day... And doing well you get arena coins you don't have to spend any coins you don't have to use cells yeah like i said your bots don't get xp but you can get a five star totally free to play you could even not do a single event just log in and battle every day and you can get a five star yeah it will take you quite a while to get but I think that's a really cool feature to give, you know, guys that are at the top of the game the chance to get a 5-star. And yet, the higher you are, the faster you'll get that 5-star. But it's a cool option. And if you think that that 5-star is too out of reach, you've also got other features where you can buy 4-star shards, you can buy alloy, you can buy energon, you can buy prems. And these change every week. But it's, it's similar, really, every week. It's very similar. That 5-star has been there for 3 weeks. They probably will change it maybe in a couple of months to a different 5-star. I'm not too sure. I can just imagine they will do that for the top guys in the game so that they aren't getting excess coins, things like that. But it's a really cool feature for literally just logging in and doing a few battles. 
it's really decent. And like I said, the way it sort of works is, once you get three defeats, you can't attack again, unless you, yet yeah, spend 200 coins to regen that. But once you lose three times, then you're out, basically. You still get the rewards. When I say out, it means you can't attack again. But you still get the same rewards at that level where you're at. It's also good for the top guys, because once you get to the very top level in Cybertron, you start getting uh, ranking points. And those ranking points go towards uh, better rewards, more coins. The higher you get, the more coins you get. So, it's really good for top guys. It's really good for the middle guys. It's really good for the bottom guys and Megasa, Alloy and Energon. So, just something to look out for, guys, when it comes to global. And if you're interested in joining the China server, then hit me up online, Sunstreak Waza. We've had a lot of guys from Global come over and just play free to play. Just something to do as well as their Global account. I'm not saying get rid of your Global account, guys. I'm not saying you have to, you know, we've all invested a lot of time running into these accounts. You don't have to get rid of that. Play it in your spare time. Just something to do. Don't have a second account on Global where you've got to put money into that. If you've got an account on Global and you want a second account, this is ideal because you can get a lot better rewards. Total free to pay. If you've looked at my global account, I pretty much maybe have 5,000 coins, something like that in the bank, maybe 10,000. I've got 36k here with a lot less spending on the China server. If, you've not, if you want to know more about the China server, guys, as well, go and check out my China server video that explains it all, the basics of how it works and the differences between the China server and the global server. Go and check that out. Get the information available to you. And then if you're still interested, then come back to me, guys. But just a word, a uh, bit of a note, you can't bring your global account over to the China server. I've had a lot of guys saying like, oh yeah, I want to join and bring my account over. You have to start afresh. That's why I said it's good to have a second account. Your global account will always be a global account. It will always be on that server. You can't change that. But if you're thinking about doing a second account, if you've got a low level second account, maybe a HQ10 or something on global, then start afresh on, on China that you can get up to HQ10 within a matter of a couple of weeks. And it's a lot better value for money. It's a lot better free to play with a lot better rewards. That's it, guys. I'm, I hope that the arena mode, or at least a better mode, is coming to global soon. I think it really needs it. I've been campaigning for this for nearly a year now for them to bring a new game mode to the game, to in, invest some life into the game more, I think, rather than just bots and power cores. Um, but yeah, watch out for this, guys. Arena mode may be coming to global. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like the video